Welcome to the IDC. In the IDC, it stands for Innovation and Discovery Center. Here, Ms. Swedock and Mrs. Robinson are so excited to introduce you to new and exciting innovative learning things. When you come to the IDC, the first thing you should do is return any books. They go on whatever cart is out here. Right there, the book returns. Please don't bring them into the IDC. The next thing you'll do is if you're here to browse for books, that's the first thing. So on our right side of the IDC is nonfiction. That means these are all of our books that are based on true things. So we have a lot of the um, who would win and DIY things right up front. We have amazing memorable people books. Then we also have sports. The next important thing is that every time you're coming to the IDC, you sign in. This is right on Canvas where you'll need to go every single day before you come to the IDC. It tells us what your purpose is for the day. So some days you might have multiple purposes. Just keep in mind that whenever you sign in, you're picking the things that you're going to do and how long you have. At the bottom, we have something that is new to our form. It says any ideas you would like to see in the IDC. So if you have some ideas that you'd like to see us add to, you can put them right here. It's just a quick little suggestion box. It's important that every time you come to the IDC, you know how long you have. In all of the zones, you will find these blue metal containers. These are the iPad resting zone. When you're not using your iPad in a zone, they should be over here, wherever you see the blue metal stands. That is where we will keep our iPads to keep them safe and out of trouble. Here is a spot in the tinker zone. Many of you have been printing to the IDC. It's important that when you print to the IDC, you simply come over to your printer and grab what you printed. The top pit printer is black and white. The bottom printer is color. So you need to make sure your teacher has told you which printer to go to. It's right on the back wall underneath the I will be sign. On our back wall of the IDC, you'll find picture books. All of these picture books are organized by the author's last name, which is where the giant letters come from. A, B's, C's, D's, E's, F's, G's, all the way through the alphabet. So if I'm looking for something by Kevin Hankus, I would look for an H. Once I find the H, then I will look at the smaller letters to find H-E-N for Hankus. H-E-N for Hankus. Oh, I don't see it up here, but it starts with H-I, which means I should go down to the bottom of the next section. H-E-N, Kevin Hankus, my garden. Just the book that I wanted. Remember, when we take a book out off the shelf, it's important that we take it with us. If we don't want it, we are gonna put it right back on the shelf that we got it from by looking where we pulled our book out before. Remember, we always pull the book out next to it before we pull out the other book. Once we pull out that book, then we're able to put it back in the shelf and push that back in. Another section of our IDC is featured books. Mrs. Robinson will pull books based on what time of the year it is and put them on this back shelf right next to the printers. So for example, we have September 11th books right here. And then right next to it, we have Hispanic Heritage Month, which is starting on the 15th. She's pulled great books about amazing people that you can read. All of these books on display are able to be checked out. So if you're interested in one, just pull it right down and take it to Mrs. Robinson or Miss Weedock to check out. The very front of the IDC, where the windows are, you'll find graphic novels, everyone's favorite section. In the back of our IDC, underneath the Think Big sign, we have a beautiful wall of books. These books are smaller chapter books, so you can read them a little quicker than some of the bigger chapter books. These are organized by author's last name as well. Last year, we listened to the books that you really enjoyed. A lot of you were asking for sport fiction books, sport chapter books. So we have a special section in our center that is dedicated to sports fiction. It's right next to the picture books in the collaboration zone. You can find lots of great sports books back here. Again, organized by alphabetical order of the author's last name. Many of you are also asking for scary books, so we have our scary book section as well, right next to the sports in the back of the collaboration zone. You can find those by author's last name as well. Mrs. Robinson does a great job of featuring our brand new books in these cute little bookshelves that we just got. All of our new books that are new to the center will be found here, so that's a great place to start if you're looking for something new to read. Next, let's take a look at our nonfiction books. We have a lot of animals all on the side of the science zone. On the right side of the IDC is our animal books. 
And on the other side, we have more nonfiction books about science and ecosystems, rocks and minerals, STEM, cooking, and more. Those are all on the left side of our science zone, but the right side of our IDC. Oh, let's name the zones, the zones, the zones. Let's name the zones of the open sea. Another zone, the collaboration zone. This year we've put our games in bins so it's easier to not lose pieces. If me and my friend want to play Battleship, I'll pull this whole container out and take it to a table. Then we will learn how to play it and play together. When we're done, we look on the ground and everywhere around us, put all the pieces back and put it back on the shelf. It's important that we use our collaboration zone for collaborating. For example, these tables are meant to draw and write on for teamwork, for something for class, for a game that you're playing, for questions that you'd like to ask each other, but not for drawing pictures. Our Tinker Zone, one of our newest zones and our favorite. On our Tinker Zone, we can have four people at it at a time, only four, just four people. On our shelf, you'll find many fun things to take apart. Please pick one thing off the shelf and you may put it in the middle of the table to take it apart. Remember, we use tools to take this apart gently and carefully. In the top of this bin, you'll find the tools organized by types of tools. If you find something and you need to use it, take one or two tools and make sure you return them back to the same bin that you got them from. Remember, these are very special tools that help with small electronics. It's really important that we put all of our pieces back in there. When you're done with the Tinker Zone, it's important that you put all of the spare pieces in our tubs over here. They will be recycled then at the end of the day or week. If there's a piece you would really like to keep, please ask Mrs. Robinson or Mrs. Weedock. In the bottom, as always, we have to put on safety goggles before we start. If you prefer to wear gloves as well, they're there for you. Must wear goggles before you start. If you take a look, we have lots of living animals in our science zone. Lana the tortoise. Then we have Sheldon the turtle. And we have Bruno the hedgehog. It's important that you never reach in or touch any of our animals unless Mrs. Robinson or Miss Weedot get them out. Please make sure that you do not reach in any of our animal enclosures. Over here we have Axel or Axolotl. He loves to just hang out and float around. This is a new table that we have. It's not in a zone, but between our collaboration and our quiet zone. A place that we will have a running puzzle all year long. So if you'd like to build and make a puzzle at any point, you can have a seat and just start to put pieces together. This is one zone that does not need to be cleaned up. It can stay out on the table as long as we push in our chairs so that way we don't have people trip over them. Coding and robotics zone. With coding and robotics zone, we will only ever have four robots on the table and four robots in our arena. Only four people will be with those robots and only four people will be with these robots. That means a total of eight people in our coding and robotics zone, but four people for each section. In our table, you'll want to sit on the outside of the arena. And if you're in the arena, you'll want to stay inside and pay attention to where you walk. Notice where the robots are and where they need to be returned. In the middle here, we have our quiet zone. Our quiet zone is meant for people to read, to relax quietly, or to do something on their own. It is an independent zone, meaning that we do not talk or laugh or goof off in our quiet zone. It is meant for people to relax and have a good, peaceful, mindful moment. On our cart, we have many activities that you can do by yourself in the quiet zone. We even have a new ride and read section. If you'd like to read a book and ride on our little pedals, you're welcome to. Next, we have our creation zone. Our creation zone is in the back right side of the IDC. You'll check out a Grogu, and then we even have a lit up sign that says create. When you come into the creation zone, you'll see all of the supplies you will need for any kind of creation will be here in the middle caddy. We'll have labels on it, so you'll be able to see what you need. All of our scrap paper will be right here that you'll use to draw or to make different kinds of paper planes, origami, all kinds of DIY books are right down here for you to use with this scrap paper. What's important is that we're never just drawing in our IDC, we're always doing something with purpose. Whether that's trying a new drawing, whether that's creating a new 
um, origami piece, or maybe it's even just making something out of paper. We have our cart back here that has all of our activities on it. So for example, we have a magnetic bin. So you would take a bin and then you would be able to use this to create a marble track on our walls. What's important is that when we're done, we can just pick it back up and put it where it goes. If you have magnetic pieces on the wall, you can keep those there. But please do not leave anything on the ground. These stickers, Mrs. Robinson and Miss Weedock will give out for students who are doing great job at taking care of themselves, this place, and others. So do not ask for a sticker. You will earn one by doing what you're supposed to and helping others. Now that you've seen the IDC, it's your turn to take a little tour. You and a small group are going to have a scavenger hunt around the IDC, and you're going to see if you can get all of the things answered. Good luck.